In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an insane $4.4 million completely solo. And that's of course because Business Month has officially kicked off and we've got just about the best payout adjustments that we've seen all year. And the cream of the crop is an impressive two times bonus on all special cargo sales from your warehouse. We had a 1.5 times bonus a few months ago, which is good enough, but double money is absolutely massive. And in this weekly guide, I'll be showing you how to make the very most of it. The first thing you'll need is the warehouse itself. You can own up to five of them at a time and they're available in small, medium and large. You can fill it up by completing missions given to you through your office computer or by coming over and talking to either Lupe or whichever staff member is located at the little person symbol on your minimap. It'll cost you 7.5k and it'll take them 48 minutes to return with the goods where they'll have a chance of picking up between one and three crates with a possibility of collecting special items as well. But before you can go ahead and buy a warehouse, you'll have to make sure that you already own an office building. Luckily, they've been discounted by 30%, with that extending to all of the upgrades and renovations except for the garage, which is still stuck at the regular price. Once you've got an office under your belt, you'll want to make your way over to the computer at your desk, where if you log on, you'll be able to access everything you need for the warehouse. Over on this page here, you'll get a layout of all of the warehouse properties available in Los Santos. All of them are currently 30% off and if you can afford it I definitely advise you going with a large warehouse. But if that's not an option you can still make good money with the smaller locations and you can always trade them in for a bigger one later down the line. Once you've purchased a warehouse it'll appear on your map with an icon like this and when you select it you'll be given the option of sourcing between one and three crates. Even if you're going solo I always advise sourcing the maximum amount and selecting three. Quite often you'll get hit with a mission where all of the three crates are stored inside one vehicle and you simply have to drive it back to the warehouse to finish things up. But even if you get the other variety and you have to deliver all three crates individually, it's still a lot faster than having to go back to the office each time and wait out the five minute cooldown timer. Granted, you can avoid the cooldown timer altogether if you own multiple warehouses and select a different property to source cargo for on each run. But either way, it's going to work out quicker collecting three at a time. In regards to how much you can make though, well, it depends on how you like to do your sale missions. Nine crates will guarantee a one vehicle mission and still bring in some decent money. Between that and 29 crates will require you to deliver two vehicles and bring in just over 750k in profit. And at max capacity of 111 crates, you'll receive a whopping $4.4 million or $3.7 million after expenses. Out of all of those options, I definitely recommend going with a completely maxed out sale. The way warehouse revolves around the basic principle of the more crates you sell at one time, the more money each individual crate is worth. So to get the most out of your time investment, you're going to want to sell more rather than less. The only consideration is getting raided, which is certainly something to keep in mind. When you reach 12 crates in a small warehouse, 30 crates in a medium warehouse, or 78 crates in a large warehouse, you'll run the risk of being raided. That'll then put all of your product at risk, and you'll have to complete a mission to return it safely. However, it can only happen when you're active in an organization, and you can usually cancel it by switching sessions, so it's never really been a big problem for me personally. When it comes time to make a sale, the first thing you'll want to do is check for special items. Normally, they'll be offered through a mission and you'll be aware of them, but because Lupe can collect them without you knowing, it's worth double checking. The best way is to sell special items by themselves, which both gives you max money and makes room for more regular cargo. The delivery missions for the special items are the same as the regular ones, but obviously they'll be pretty small because you've only got the one crate on board. If you got them, they're definitely worth selling this week. With the double money bonus, you'll be making between 200 and 300k for each and every one, which is bloody good money for a single crate. So yeah, do keep an eye out for that. As for the main sale missions though, they can be a lot more time consuming. Fortunately, all of the missions can be done solo. However, some are more difficult than others. The plane missions like the Titan here will have you flying to a series of drop-offs which may or may not contain enemy aircraft with heavy artillery. It is possible to do solo by getting in and out of the plane and then scoping the drops with a weaponized vehicle before returning all the way back to the airport to get in again and make the deliveries. But all of that does take a lot of time and the plane missions do have a habit of glitching out. So when I get a plane delivery, I just find a new session and re-roll for a new sale. You'll only lose three crates and you can just recoup that with a five minute source mission. But whichever 
one you get hit with shouldn't give you too much trouble, and when you come to the end of it, you'll be a massive $4 million richer. You do of course have the option of selling in a public lobby, where you can make up to 50% more money in a populated session, but there's always a pretty decent risk of being blown up by some wanker who wasn't hugged enough as a child, so do be careful and observe the lobby thoroughly before starting a sale mission. Another thing you don't want to sleep on this week is the export mixed goods feature available through the assistant in your office. This is a good earner just on its own, but with the three times bonus currently applied, this simple point A to point B style mission is paying out an impressive 150k. You will come across some enemies trying to chase you down and occasionally the cops as well, but it shouldn't take you more than a few minutes and the payout is mighty fine indeed. Make sure you get on it while the going's good. Another bonus worth looking at is for people who own a vehicle warehouse, where if you come over to the computer in your office, you'll find the special vehicle work shown up on the right. These missions are a hell of a lot of fun, and they have the added bonus of unlocking trade prices for the various special vehicles associated with the vehicle warehouse. And with the two times money bonus this week, now is the perfect time to give them a go if you're interested. But if you want to break from all things to do with the office, you could always consider a couple of game modes. Arena Wars has a two times money and arena points bonus on for the rest of the week, and there's a bunch of new community jobs that have just been added, which will give a decent three times money and RP bonus as well. So yep, overall, it's an absolutely massive week when it comes to making a buck. And with Rockstar stating that there's going to be a focus on businesses for the next few weeks, I'd say that the good vibes are only just getting started. For anyone who needs a quick recap though, you can see that we've got two times money and RP on special cargo sell missions, special vehicle work and arena wars, three times money and RP on export mixed goods and the newly added community series game modes, and then the 30% discount on all offices and special cargo cargo warehouses for anyone who's still yet to get into the grind. But if you found this video useful, hitting the like button really does help out a lot. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe as well. I make a weekly money guide every time a new update gets released, and you don't want to miss out on all of my top-notch tips and tricks. But until we meet again, you bunch of legends, I am Rad Nitrate, and I'll catch you on the next one.